So previously, in a Champions League draw, we got lucky. We got probably the easiest team that we could have faced. No offense to Celtic, but that's the truth. And to be fair, they've made us work for it. But we are now in the round of 16. This is where all the big boys are there, and we are unseeded, which means lots of bad and awful and terrifying things. However, the fans hope that we get either Nice, Newcastle, and Benfica. Wouldn't that be nice? Ooh, you suck! Please don't leave. Anyways, you know the procedure. Let us jump into the draw and go one by one. So the first match will be a different one, and it's Vincent Company, the ceremony host. <sighs> We're playing Liverpool, aren't we? Right, let's see what the seeded teams are. So from the unseeded teams, that's the teams that have played in the previous one. But the top eight are Barcelona, Chelsea, City, Nice. What is Nice doing there? Paris Saint-Germain, Bayern, Liverpool, and Real Madrid. To be fair, even Vincent Company can't rig this against us because I think the hardest teams are literally everyone apart from Nice and I can guarantee you with a hundred percent certainty that this man in the corner is not giving us that nice draw. Bastard. Anyways, hello everybody, Vincent Company here from Saint Denis. I'll be your host for the UEFA Champions League round of 16 draw. It's hard to believe that this year's edition of the competition is the 7th, 72nd. Oh, that's a lot. And it's a privilege to be in this position today. Yeah, whatever, man. Just pick us something nice. Advance. United is going to be playing Chelsea. By the way, did anyone else watch the game last Thursday? That was a game. 2-0 down. Then 2... Well, I say 2-0 down. 2-0 up. Then 2-3 down. And then Cold Palmer himself made Chelsea win. I'm a Chelsea fan. Maybe he can do the same thing here. Although I did see something funny. He's listed for 10 million. Which will be interesting because I may try to sign him. Let's try. Actually, sorry, this is a tangent already. This is hilarious. Let's try and sign him. 10 million. We'll see at the next time what will happen. Anyways, continuing the draw. Porto, which is actually an easier team. Can we get them? No, we can't. You know, Vincent Company made sure that his buddies in Manchester City are playing Porto, which is hilarious. Okay, next up we have Inter versus Nice. It would be so funny. I'm waiting for an Inter versus Milan thing. That will be funny. But Inter is probably going through. Lucky bastards. Benfica is going to be playing Liverpool. Okay, okay. You know, fair enough. Newcastle is going to be playing Barcelona. Who does this leave us, actually? So there's Milan. There's Ajax and Partizan. And then there is Bayern, Paris Saint-Germain and Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool, sorry. And Real Madrid. So Ajax will be playing Real Madrid. Okay. AC Milan will be playing FC Bayern. And does this mean the Partizan will play our old rivals, Paris Saint-Germain? Last time, for all of you that remember, we actually played Paris Saint-Germain in 2021. So the last time we faced them, it went something like this. Illich! Illich! Ivan Illich! Let's go! I'm falling off my chair! Everybody park the bus with me. Let's go! We did it, boys! 1-0 against PSG at their home stadium. Let's go, this tactic works! And it'll be really funny if I can't find it, because now I'll just look stupid and face the camera like this, so hopefully I did a good job. But if not, I look dumb. But yes, last time we beat Paris Saint-Germain, and we went through to the next stage, where unfortunately... We got stopped. But, you know, hey, I got a nice little short out of it with lots of good views. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, we are taking on Paris Saint-Germain. Don't go anywhere. The first game will be most likely at home. The second game will be away. In terms of the schedule, yeah, the first game will be at home. It's going to be snowing in March. Fair enough. And the second game, it will be a bit... There's no forecast. Yeah, we can't forecast that far. But it's going to be in Parc de Prince. <laughs> Hi guys, Mr. Space reporting for duty and welcome back to probably the longest intro that I've ever done in my life. Yes, we did draw PSG. Yes, that is absolutely awful. But, you know, there was no chance in hell that Vincent Company was going to give us Nice. I know him. In more interesting news, we have a chance to sign Cole Palmer. And the fact that he expects to be a fringe player makes me think that maybe we shouldn't. I mean, looking at his stats, he looks okay. But comparing him to other players like maybe Lachlan Deans, for example, maybe I shouldn't. He's really bad in this universe, isn't he? I mean, don't forget, I started the save before he kind of exploded onto the scene, so probably his PA is not updated. 
And he hasn't done anything at Chelsea, which is absolutely sad. Next year, he'll definitely be the wonder kid because this guy is an absolute goat. But I can't afford to spend 10 million on him. So I am going to do the sad thing and walk away. Bye, Cole. It is no longer snowing. It is actually gusty and one degree. So we've had an increase in two degrees. And will that have an impact on the game? No clue. Absolutely no clue. By the way, I have decided to make a small little adjustment, just a tiny little adjustment. So that way we can do two cool things. I mean, the first one will obviously be we want to play the PSG game, of course. However, there is a funny game here with a certain decent side called Cervenas Vesna, which is absolutely freaking annoying because, you know, we have in the space of... Wait, in the space of... Wait. In the space of six days, we play PSG. I... That is normal, right? I'm not going crazy, but that this is an awful schedule. By the way, whoever's done this is an absolute idiot. But to be fair, knowing the Serbian Super League, they probably didn't think that we're going to make it through. And yeah, I guess fair enough. But so the plan is as follows. We're going to play PSG today. We're going to play Tervenes Vesa today. And then we're going to play PSG in the next episode. And I can do some cool things around to show you the club and stuff. And hopefully show you the next team we draw because we're clearly going to beat PSG, right? And yes, I did notice the position of Cervenas Vesda. And no, I'm not going to mention it right now in case you missed it. I will mention it before that game because I am too stressed to take on PS freaking G. We have a lineup here that we've tweaked. We've changed some things around. Maybe we'll change it back for this game. But like I will talk about after this game, We've had a good run of form with this changes. So we have changed a wide center back on attack role. We have changed an inverted wing back on attack as well. And we have moved up Staminich to the ball winning midfielder a bit higher. This gave us a little bit more in attack, I think, honestly. And also the fact that Popovic is now a deep line forward. It's actually given him a little bit of... What's the right word? Influence in the game. Yeah, I think he's actually contributed. He's actually scored a few goals, which is absolutely important. But the squad is pretty much identical to the way that we have played in previous games. And I do also want to mention one thing. Let's look at Perdanovic. So this guy hasn't played much for me. And obviously, in this season, he hasn't really done much. 6.93 average rating is not the best. However, look at his stats. He looks very good. Even better, let me compare him to Muinata. So Muinata came back from injury. He is still very, very good. However, Gordon Perdanovic is almost ready to overtake him he is slower but he has better aerial better mental and better defending and better physicals does this mean that i put sufanat on the bench or does this mean that i play with goran i don't know for now but it has to be the more experienced player surely it has to be maybe this is the final season of sufanat moinata at this club he is very very good if a big offer comes for him i'm more than welcome to sell him but he is a good player and I trust him. And with that in mind, this will be the lineup. Hudikov, Milinkovic, Vitek, and Sanjust. You've kind of seen this before. Borza and Martinelli as our two wingbacks. Staminic and Deans up front. Muinata, Saldanya, and Popovic. And most importantly, P Deans is not pissed off at me anymore because City doesn't want to sign him anymore because they signed Silvic, I think, from Red Star. So, I mean, absolutely happy with this. This guy is good. He's growing 12 caps for Australian national team. Very good stuff. Yes. Guys, I am aware I'm stalling, but I am scared to click this button. I'm scared to go click continue, but I guess we have to, don't we? I mean, do we have to? I can just sit here and never record another episode and never lose to PSG. This side is going to be terrifying, and I'm looking forward to see how they look in this universe. There's no Neymar and no Messi, as you know. Mbappe is still there. Gonzalo Ramos is there. Vitinha, Zaire, Mary, Asensio. Nothing crazy, to be honest. I think this is pretty much the same squad that you have seen in PSG, like right now. I think they may have made some signings at center back, which I guess is fair enough. I want to see what's going to happen. Potentially, I may need to drop it to balanced at some point, my tactic. But at the same time, we're at home. Let's see what the boys can do. We have a corner, guys. Everyone, we have a corner. Borza, can you create something? Milinkovic! Milinkovic! Milinkovic. Donnarumma, beautiful save. That was an absolute sitter. I, I, no? Was it an absolute sitter? It was just a shot and the keeper saved it. I mean, you, you can say all you want that that was a, just a fine chance. Can we stop this attack? Mbappe, with the captain's armband, is running through everyone. Milinkovic cannot get a foot on. And fortunately, 
Mbappe can't get a shot on target. And that's the first alarm bell. Mbappe beat a left, a right back, a right defensive midfielder. Well, I guess he's an attacking playmaker. And of course, Jerry. And to be fair, even my grandma can beat Jerry. Like at this rate, any old pensioner can beat Jerry. Despite his good pace, he just doesn't know what he's doing. Unfortunately, I don't know why. I, I, I just, this guy's getting sold next year. The second our players develop, he's getting sold. But they are playing it out the back, which is absolutely acceptable. Acceptable. Expectable. And we can't seem to get a foot on. Hernandez finds Nuno Mendes, who's playing an inverted wingback. But we do intercept with our own inverted wingback. And we're going to play it out. What is this, boys? Don't play into trouble. We do. Hakimi intercepts, but Stamenic gets it again. And this time, he finds Borza. Do not pass it to the right-hand side. Do not give it to Jerry. Please, for the love of God, do not give it to Jerry. Borza runs through, finds Saldana, who's in so much free space, who finds Lachlan Deans, who finds someone, who finds Popovic. Matija Popovic, Matija. Matija. By the way, I learned his name. I, I, I can't believe I was saying it so wrong and you guys didn't tell me. And also, that makes sense. In Russian, it's the same. You will say, If you say, yeah, it's, it's J-A. And I kept calling him Matija. But anyways, Matija Popovic, I got your name right. He's back in this. I was worried that this guy forgot to score. And he scored against PS freaking G. I am a tactical genius. Yes. Let's recreate the short. Let's freaking go. 1-0 against PSG. Yes. Jerry's on the ball. And that is an absolute terrifying thing. And Martinelli did the right thing in stealing the ball from him. Hilarious. Like, he's like, no, no give, give him the ball. Do not touch it. Muinata finds Soldania in free space. Guys, what is going on? We're doing good. Soldania finds Matia. Fu For all of you that play Counter-Strike, there's a song playing in my head. It's called Easy For Ends. And I will try and see if I can put the clip in right now because it perfectly describes what's going on. Yeah, I really hope I played it. If not, I look like an absolute idiot. 2-0. We have 33% possession. I, I lied. We have 32% possession. Three shots, three on target, two goals. You know what happened last time. You know, every time we have games like this and we score against the big boys, they will get back at us. This is FM. FM is trolling me. I can feel it. But let's enjoy the party. You guys finally get to see a very happy spaceman. And, you know, long may it last. Muinata finds Martinelli, who finds Muinata. Muinata, there's a reason I picked you. There's a reason I picked you. And not for this cross. But he finds Lachlan Deans. And that was a chance. Muinata almost created. And Lachlan Deans can assist, but he can't score. That was a wonderful chance. But PSG managed to cover very quickly. Guys, what is going on? This is going on. Vitinha, cross, Ugarte header. Break time for me. They are putting on the pressure. 37th minute, once again, another chance. Ugarte is on the ball. We do collect him. Popovic drops back. Martinelli and Mbappe are having a fight. Vitinha takes a shot. Hudikov is there. Hudikov is present. Look at this man. He was built for the Champions League absolute legend wow man i can't wait for him to get the serbian nationality because he can be the next badass goalkeeper that he is for the serbian national team although have you guys got this far already where you have naturalized players yet because i don't know i think saldana is still unavailable to play for the serbian national team but i guess we'll see and with that half time two nil to partisan against psg and par and psg sounds weird because i feel like this was gonna say paris but it's not it's Belgrade. I don't even know what to say. Should I be cheeky and just make sure they don't become complacent? If I click this button, is this going to be bad? Is this going to be bad? I I'm scared. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's do it together. Well, my players actually respond. Nice. Hopefully they respond. Hopefully they keep trying to get back into possession. Because everyone is doing absolutely amazing. Even Jerry's doing good. But, you know, he's Jerry. Let's see if he messes it up. I think it's time for us to make our first sub. And I'm going to do it through this page here because we only need to make one sub. Borza is tired. Let's put Barco in and see, you know, if he can bring some freshness on the left-hand side. And with that, perfectly, it rolls into a free kick, which you know is never going to go in. So there's no even point to me commentating. And yet I have hope. And yet, like I said, absolutely no point commentating. One day, man, I, generally every single free kick baits me. It always baits me into this. I'm like, you know what? 100% is going in. 
never will. It only goes in when you guys aren't watching. Cross comes in, nothing interesting happened. Wow, we are just making so many chances. Is there anything that PSG can do? Most likely, yes. They're a very awesome side. And Bappe will jump, but Jerry picks it up. Mendes has a run at the goal. Can we stop him from crossing? Deans is in the way. Oh my god. Deans is doing his best to score in both goals. He missed the first chance and he almost missed a second chance in the same goal. And fortunately, Hudikov collects it. How was he ready for this? I don't know. Jerry is on the ball and this is once again a terrifying proposition, but he carries it forward and he can't pass for shit. But you know, we know that this is the way he is. Unfortunately, Popovic though, Popovic steals it. Popovic for a hat trick. Popovic for a hat trick. Matija. Matija. The potential German mad lad. Yes, he still hasn't been called up for the Serbian national team because I think he's keeping up hope that he can play for the German national side. He does have German nationality, so that's why. Asenio. <laughs> chances galore. But if Popovic scores like this in the Champions League's round of 16, a German call-up is coming soon. It has to be. We are now in the 70th minute. Do we dare to change anything? Honestly? I'm afraid to, but I think maybe after this, it's like whatever happens in this highlight will determine what's going on. It, it, we do need to make some subs. I think Saldana, Muinata, and Popovic need some subs. We need fresh legs, most importantly up front. For now, everyone's doing okay, but we do need some fresh legs. We need to press them as hard as we can. We need to push them out as far as we can, see what happens. Vitinha, Mbappe, he's definitely going to blow past Martinelli. He, he keeps running, but Martinelli is keeping a pace with him. He does stop him, but Vitinha finds himself in lots of space. That is a beautiful Rabona. Asenio finds a shot and he misses the target. And with that in mind, we are going to make a cross. And a cross, my God. Sorry, it was a beautiful Rabona. My head's gone. Sufana Moinata is going to come off, I think. We're going to put Dusan Milovanovic in here. Because I think... Oh, actually, I'm going to put him on the right-hand side. Or, yeah, I'm going to put him on the right-hand side because he has incredible pace. Maybe he can do what Saldana usually does. And I think, or even actually... Changing my mind again, we're going to play Milovanovic and Barrios, two wingers with incredible pace. We got 16-16 here, and we have 16-16 here. G guess their average in both. That's what I thought. 16. Well done, guys. You're doing math. Look at this. Mr. Spaceman teaching you math. Absolutely incredible. Right. What else should we do? Um, Honestly, probably Toma Basic instead of Martinelli. We need to shore up our defense. I think we need to start being a bit more careful. So we're going to drop everyone on support functions, including Jerry himself. And I think with that in mind, we are going to keep everything like this. I think we need to make sure we don't overly unpress. But at the same time, I don't want to do anything stupid. We're going to keep one sub in case they score. And with that, that is the five, well, the four subs. So we'll see what happens. It's the end of the game. Can we shut up shop? Maybe it's time for us to park the bus. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. It depends what happens here. I want to park the bus because I want to... If we keep a 2-0 lead right now, that'll be very good going to Paris as Milovanovic finds himself in space, finds Barrios, who has just come back from injury, and he hasn't done much since. Although I do like the fact that every time he used to show up before, he used to score, but it hasn't been like that for a while. Toma Basic, is he going to create something? He finds Staminic, who is going to find Milovanovic, who is going to find himself... And pass it off to Milinkovic. Can we be careful with what we're doing? A beautiful cross from Milinkovic. Finds Barrios. Can he cross in? Popovic on a hat-trick. Milovanovic goes. Popovic almost reaches it. And that could have been a third goal. But they will break away. They will not break away. It's time to park the bus. Yes, okay. That's time to park the bus. Let's go cautious. What can we do? Staminic. Do we have a decent defensive midfielder? Yes, we do. Matias Villagara. Let's run down the time. Oh my god. 2-0 against PSG. Boys, 2 nils against PSG. We are in a great position. This was the most clinical I have ever seen us play. This is exactly why I built my tactic. It just freaking works. Come on, boys. 2 nil against PSG. We can make it further. Young Partizan shine against PSG. And Matija Popovic scores two freaking goals. I don't believe it. Looking at the stats, we outplayed them. Yes, we surrender possession, but it's absolutely fine. This is PSG we're talking about. Every single player on their team earns more than the whole team combined. Mbappe earns more than three partisans. Don't forget this. Absolutely incredible. Oh my God. Right. 
what does this mean for us? Well, that means that we're playing Serena's Vesda in this particular episode right now, so don't go anywhere. But this also means that we have to rotate the side quite drastically. So what will be the lineup against Serena's Vesda? Well, let's find out together. And the starting lineup is going to look exactly like this. We're going to have Hudjikov and Goal, Mendy, Gilson, Palacios, you know, you get to see these guys play together. So far, they've done okay. We'll see how good Cervena Zvezda is in breaking them down. Hopefully, not that good. And hopefully, they can learn how to play against the bigger teams before we throw them against, you know, the super big teams. Sasa Serenic will be on the left-hand side, who's actually signed a contract extension, which is absolutely awesome. At the end of the season, right, he gets another one. Yeah, he agrees to sign a 2.6, so we, this is very, very good. He's no longer pissed off at me. Barco is going to play on the right-hand side. Basic and Villagara in the midfield. Up front, Perdanovic, who wasn't given a chance against PSG, which I guess worked out in the end. Milovanovic, who's going to be leading the line instead of Popovic, give him a break. And Saldana, potentially on the right-hand side, just because we are lacking, I guess, the, <laughs> the nationalities. We have way too many foreign players. Unfortunately, we got obviously one, two, three, four five on the bench so that's a lot you know that's nine players you know we can only play four as you remember but at the same time a lot of these players will stay at the club for a while and that will be good for us right quick update on the league is that we are doing incredibly well obviously i forgot to mention all this stuff we've kept our formation after the beautiful game against celtic 5-1 against uh who was it texelach borza shikayev who's getting some game time. Popovic with a double and Toma Basic on the score sheet as well. 5-0, Saldanya, Popovic, Estava, and Goran Prudanovic. It's very, very good so far. Vozodats is a very good team. Don't forget that. And finally, the most rotated side you'll ever see. Kalichanin, Palacios, Gilson, Mendy, Barco. Why am I even talking about this? Let me just show you the lineup. It's easier to visualize. And the final game was against TSC with the most rotated side ever probably, that we can put out, obviously, in preparation for the PSG game. Kalichanin, Mendy, Gilson, Palacios, Borza, Barco, Basic, Marco, Estevao, Milovanovic, and Moinata up front. You know, makes sense. We're trying to rotate as many players as we can, and yet, the 90-second goal from Matij Popovic was the thing that made us go through. It was funny. I was complaining about him not scoring many goals this year, and then he's on 15. Where did that come from? The guy didn't do anything this year, and now he's doing better than he did here. He's actually getting lots of out of the matches, 7.49 rating, and a massive, massive result in the Champions League. This guy's good. Another quick update. Cervantes Vesda is fifth. Uh, yeah, I don't know either. But anyways, we still have to respect them, and that's why the side is not... I mean, it is rotated. We're lucky enough to have the depth. I think this rotated side should be good enough to beat them, and if not, we'll throw in the big dogs, because we haven't lost for three or four seasons in a row, and I don't want to start on a loss in the league right now, especially before a massive game against PSG in the next episode, but we shall see what it goes. I hope you guys are excited. We beat PSG in this episode. Can we beat Cervantes Vesta? I, I, I certainly hope so. Partizan, Partizan, Partizan. We're playing at home again, but they have a good amount of fans in the corner. There's a lot of red t-shirts over there, which means only scary things. Is our boy on the starting lineup? He is not. Ramirez is on the bench though, so if he comes off and scores against us, it'll be absolutely awful. But the league is just... We, we won the league this year, guys. We won the freaking league. Let's see if we can beat Cervantes Vesda. Let's see if we can keep them at the fifth spot or even drop them lower. We'll see. I don't know how low they can go. It'll be nice to see if the league shows up here at some point and I will bring attention to it. Or I can just check now. Hang on. This is their chance to go a bit more above Vozvodats. But at the same time, if... They lose against us and Chukarichki wins their next game. They can be outside of European places, which would be very cool. We have a corner and it is Toma Basic taking it. Basic, can you create something? Can you score from this? No, come on. Never will happen. But Basic, Mendy jumps up. Mendy, beautiful save by Drummel. Another new keeper. I am getting so tired of their different keepers. Gilson, is he going to take a pass? He finds Saldana. It bounces everywhere. And it almost bounced out, but he was offside. That was the weirdest deflection I've ever seen. That was something incredible. Hopefully, I can repeat it for you guys whilst that's happening. But we have a they have a chance as well. Skovnatsky is on the ball. David Kostas is going to play it out. Ezekvim. Roar. Do they have a chance of their own? Ivanic. 
finds Olyanka, who is an extremely good player. I have so much respect for him. Hudikov saves. Good man, Hudikov. Vilagara picks it up. Saldanya crosses it to Milovanovic. Can he hold down the play? He can, actually. And that is it. Wow. There are actually quite exciting things. If you continue to leave so few people back during attacking... I've never seen that before. Interesting. But Milovanovic is in lots of space. Milovanovic puts it away. How is this possible that a backup striker has 14 goals in the season and the number one striker has 20? And Saldana probably has 20 as well. We are cooking. We are cooking with gasoline and no one marked Milovanovic. And my assistant manager was telling me, don't put so many players up front. Mate, this is why you do it. Oh, no. Once again... Is this the second game in a row we get a red card? I think it's the second game in a row against Cervantes Vesa where we get a red card. Villagara, who's not known for his angry tackles, hits Bukhari and gets sent off. And now we have to be a little bit careful. So we'll move down Perdanovic into attacking playmaker role. We're playing one man down. I hope that doesn't impact us at all. They do have a free kick. If they score from a free kick right now as well, that will be awful. The ref is trying to make sure that Cervantes Vesda is going to happen. Hudikov saves it. And thankfully, if this one against me as well, after me not being able to score a single free kick, this would be awful. They have another chance. Bukhari, who just got a red card for our team, is now going to put a cross in. Perdanovic is going to win the header. Hopefully that goes away. But it goes back to Bukhari. We do clear it. I was really afraid we're going to get another penalty or whatever. You know, you never know at this rate. Oh my god. Barco. Can somebody collect? Saldana stops it. Saldana stops it. That was so close to the net. Guys, can you calm down a bit, please? Thank you. Sasa Serenic. Play it out. The highlight is still going on. The highlight is gone. Milovanovic is taking a free kick. I really need to check on those because it's kind of a weird thing. And that almost goes in. I, I, I saw it wasn't going, going to go in. But I don't set free kick takers or penalty takers. And I really leave it to my assistants. Which is why sometimes you have weird things like Milovanovic taking a free kick. Although he's not known for his height. So I do he doesn't need to be in the mixer. It's 1-0. So far, so good. But we don't have possession against Serena's Vesda, which is absolutely fine. We're not playing to park the bus, but we are winning our possession in the second half. That's true. Let's go again. It worked last time. Will it work again? Yes, it will. We need to see that the players are motivated because the second half is going to be another half with 10 men. Matias, why? Ivanic is going to step over the ball. He got the captain's armband, which is interesting. Juan Ingbom. That was a quick one, two, and that looked offside to me. Juan Ingbom is still at Cervantes Vesda. How? He is too good. Honestly, I'll, I'll be honest. He's a very good player, but hopefully he's just offside. He is good. He's not good enough to know what an offside line is, but I'm going to rate him. And it's a shame that he plays for them. Maybe I can steal them, but we've definitely outgrown them now. So it, it'll be kind of a shame because he'll want a lot of money as well. And he won't improve the side, but it'll be funny because it'll make Serena as well as the weak, which is good. But also now that I think about it, it'll give them money to spend, which I don't want that because he is aging. He's like 31 at this rate, or 30. So I don't want them to have an opportunity to re replace him with a good player. Bukhari is on the ball. Roar finds himself in lots of space. Ivanic, we need to start parking the bus a little bit. Olyanka, one over the keeper. Hudikov does not get his hand on it, or he does, but not enough. 1-1 one, one to Cervena Zvezda. And after beating PSG, we might go down against them. Well, in terms of this, I'm going to drop our tactics a little bit. Get rid of run and defense. Go a bit slower tempo. We need to win possession. Perdanovic is not doing good. We need to make early subs, actually. So before the tactical changes are getting put into place, we need subs. So I think Perdanovic is going to come off. I think I'm going to put on um, Lachlan Deans. We do have to play a guy who is very good. And I think with that in mind, that will be the only sub we do. Maybe Sasa Serenic was on a yellow. Can we replace him with anyone else? We can't. But we can put Barco on that side. And... <laughs> Toma Basic can go as a right wing back. But who will be our ball winning midfielder? Stamenic. Let's throw up the play. I wanted to potentially leave all these players to be rested. But unfortunately, this is not a good time to do so. We have an unbeaten record to keep. So we need to play these players now. Hopefully this doesn't mean they get injured. Because imagine if that happens and I don't have them against PSG and we lose because we don't have them. I will probably kick someone. Very hard. 
including myself. Anyways, Gilson's gonna play it out. Can we be careful? Palacios. Can you be careful as well, Jerry Sanjust? Is this gonna be a pointless highlight, I wonder, or are we gonna concede because we are doing dumb things? He pushed up way too hard, and I don't like that. As we do collect the ball, and Stamenich is trying to get a red card as well. They have a chance. Stamenich is trying to get a red card, but he does win the ball back. He doesn't care that he's playing against his old side. He is now a partisan boy. Partisan born and bred. Well, he's New Zealand born and bred. But anyways, Basic, Saldana. Can you blow past Ezekwim? You can't. Or you can. Saldana. Still can't. Okay. That's a good chance. Drommel. I'm going to check something real quick. Hang on. Yeah, it's a full match. I knew it. I knew it. I feel it. Sometimes the game breaks and this happens. Thank you, FM. Never change. Beautiful. I would have commentated for the entire game. And I would be like, this, 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 um, this is a 90 minute long episode. How did that happen? Well, FM happened. Thank you very much for that. Another chance for them. Bukhari puts a cross and Hudikov should collect. He doesn't. And Maximilian Rohr scores how does this team do this our squad is decent enough to be able to deal with Cervena Zvezda and they've played crap against all the other teams and yet they somehow get a goal against us it's time for some subs we need to address the situation Saldana is tired I'm gonna put Barrios on I can't why because we're Lachlan Dean's right so it's four players can I take off anyone who is a foreign player I can. I'm going to take off Palacios, who's not doing good, and I'm going to play him up front. And I'm going to switch to a 4-4, four, four, well, f I guess 4-3-1, maybe? And I'm going to put Popovic up front. We're going to have Milovanovic and Popovic leading the line. And I think the link-up player with them will be maybe Esteval? I think I'll be good. I think this is quite a good formation. We need to go more attacking. Hopefully we don't mess up. I think, can we do one more sub? Maybe. I'm going to put on Milankovic instead of Mendy, just to shore up the defense as well. So that means if we push up, we do a bit better on the counters. And it's squeaky bum time. I don't want to lose in the league. I generally don't want to lose in the league. This will be a very bad result if we do lose. And we need to push up. I am just throwing everything and the kitchen sink. And hopefully that will be enough. They are going to be parking the bus right now. We need to play back into possession. Can we get something back? Toma Basic, put a good cross in. Milinkovic can collect. Milinkovic does collect. It hits the post. It hits the freaking post. Guys, we need to do better. We need to push. We need to push. Ramirez is playing a pressing forward. He is going to try and stop us from scoring. I need to make one last tweak. We're going to put everyone on a bit more oomph. We're going to push everyone as far as we can. Is this going to be enough? Are we going to lose our first game in years? Are we going to have an insane high and an insane low in the same episode? This is FM for you. This will be FM for you. I will not believe if this happens. Man, how is Cervenas Vesda going to be the team that stops us? I don't believe it. But at the same time, it does make sense. We rotated the side a little bit too much, potentially. As Olianka must be offside. Must be offside. Ref, put your flag up. Unbelievable. They're doing their best. Honestly, this... I believe, I, I believe there's a conspiracy. <laughs> Time is trickling away. We need to make, I don't know what else to do. There's nothing. Just a final shot of demand more. And we need to do, I, I don't even know what. Maybe we're, we just push the wingbacks up. Can we push the wingbacks up even? Basic is going to do this. Maybe I'll do, I'll do something like this actually. I'm going to put a, hang on, stop the play. Stop the count. Stamenich is going to be a halfback. Barco is going to shoot up. Deans is going to play here, I think. And then that is how we're going to line up. This is the most cursed formation you've ever seen. But hopefully it does something as we've played with... This is ridiculous. What is this, guys? As you can see, I am panicking. I'm throwing everyone up. Can we do something creative? Can we not, please, for the love of God, lose the unbeaten thing today? Please, out of all the days, can it not be today? Hudikov, play it out. Stamenich, play it out to the right. He finds Deans instead, who finds Gilson. Move it forward. That way, that way, that way. Go, go, go. Esteval, that way. Wrong way, Esteval. That way. Oh my god, man. I can't believe this is going to be the way this game ends. This, You guys want drama? You get drama. Gilson, play it to the right. No, that's the wrong way. Play it forward. Hudikov, good thinking. Milinkovic. Milinkovic, carry it. Finds Barco. 
doesn't find Barco enough and they have a counter, but thankfully Milinkovic is there. Oh my god, the Partizan boy knows how much this means to the club. I think Cervantes Vesda do not expect this, but I think the we, we potentially might have reset. Ah, we might have reset them. We might have reset them so many times. We need to be a bit careful. We just need to find the right ball. Estevao finds Deans. Beautiful one, two. Beautiful one, two, three. Estevao finds the ball. Finds Milovanovic. Who finds the back of the net? Milovanovic offside. No, 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 no. This will be... No, 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 no. Ref, don't do this to me. 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 You didn't do this to me! 2-2! Park the bus. Park the bus. I can't. I can't make I can't make changes. Okay, everyone back. Everyone back. Everyone in the grandma back. Very defensive. Park the bus. Uh sorry guys. I'll be honest. I am sorry. This is not how it should go. Popovic will drop here. Basic will drop here. Estevao is a wing back. Basic is gonna move. Oh my god, I need to fix everything. Uh what is going on? Uh, is this gonna be the right shout? I think so. This is a messy formation. Very defensive. Park the bus. Waste time. 95th minute. We did. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I cannot believe, guys, 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 guys. If this does not deserve a like, if this episode does not deserve the highest viewership of all time, I don't know what is. Send this to your friends. Share this channel. Share this freaking video. We beat Paris Saint Germain and we managed to, despite all the bad ref calls, get back against Cervena Zvezda and continue our unbeaten form. The Partizan boys, I am so proud of you. You're all incredible. I love you. Jesus Christ, we are still unbeaten. 137 unbeaten for Partizan. It could have ended here. It did not end here. I am speechless. This is incredible. Wait a minute. Have I lost a single game in the Serbian Super League since I took over? That can't be right. Hang on. Have I lost a single game in the Serbian Super League? Um, wait, that is not possible. I have never lost a single game in the Serbian Super League? No freaking way. I must have lost one, surely. I've lost in the Super Cups and stuff. Oh my god. I didn't lose a single game in the Serbian Super League since the start of the save. Like I said, Share this video with every single person you know. Smash that like button. Tell them to subscribe because Partizan are the big dogs in the world. We're going to take on PSG in the next episode. So bring everyone you know. It's going to be a massive day. We need to do it. We need, we're going to Paris for God's sake. We're winning 2-0, but that means absolutely nothing because Paris Saint-Germain are a massive side. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Smash the like button if you did. Share this video if you think we are an awesome side. And I'll see you guys after I manage to recover from this heart attack that these two games have given us and we'll take on PSG for you. That sounds really lovely. And we can go into the next stage where we can technically progress further because who knows? We may be the side that wins the Champions League this time. Can we do it? We'll find out next episode. Bye, guys.